It is a part of the country that could definitely use the rain, but it's also going to make for a very wet track tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Now the Packers get set to go. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Jones again on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. He couldn't get the edge there. It wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go, and especially for offensive linemen trying to get out ahead. But their footwork and speed is negligible in that play. No gain at all for the offense. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Taken in at the 22. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Connects with Kittle underneath. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and three. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Purdy to throw it on first down. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That gives some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and ten. Purdy sets up to throw again. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 21. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Now Purdy. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Gets past him at the 10. And he gets the first down yards before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make the play ourselves and maybe change things up. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. That is caught by the tight end kill. Touchdown, 49ers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the 49ers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now a second and ten. Throwing. Love. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 32 that time. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down in the yard. Play action this time with Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. A 
On the counter, here's Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Jones. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Well, that way, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league and trying to get first downs. Unless you're playing four down football, then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Love now. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at Taylor's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Now Samuel. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Heavy set out there on third and one as they've got it as we resume action. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. On first down, Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Completes a kittle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Back to the ground attack here, it's McCaffrey. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they don't want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Now Love. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. to throw now. Here's Love. That is caught. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Love looking to throw it. And that is incomplete. gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And yeah, that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. On third down, Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 45-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Love, they go play action now. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. Partner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. To the air again, Love. This one swung out here to Jones. So just three yards on the completion there. 
and that'll make it third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact, well timed there, and now fourth down. Well, he's been talking it quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They still have to double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear, but here in the rain and the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and ten inside the 35. And inside give to Jones. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and four. Glove. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. What a methodical drive. This is turning out to be that time nine yards, and the sticks move again. First down, Green Bay. down carry by Jones and the result here a pickup of eight leaves him with two to go on second down that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will second and two first down marker at the eight To pass. Here's Jordan Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And the Packers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two yard line. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Dylan. Will score. Touchdown, Packers. Just power of football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. 
With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So after the sack here, second and 14. Back to throw, Purdy. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Here comes Reed. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Shifts past him at the 45. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Here's Love. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Love. On oh, the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds. Toe tapping and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. This taken in right around the goal line. 
And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. And they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. The throwing here, Purdy. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards. That's how you put field position. What a play right there. That nearly went the distance. Credit this defense for not giving up. They get him down just short of the goal line, but the damage is done. It's going to be first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey punching it in from a yard away. And the 49ers are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Extra point try now for Moody. Ah, the rain making this treacherous, but the extra point is good, and with it, it'll give him the lead. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Again, it's Love. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up 
defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. This pass caught. It's Dobbs with it. And it's a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs, 31 yards. And the Packers have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. And he is not going to make it to the goal line. So the defense holds, and this remains a five-point game. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's free guard. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find a good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. Second down and three. Play action. Now Purdy. This will be caught. It's Samuel. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And that one results in 35 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Purdy now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Willis. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. 
But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Birdie. just how they drew it up CD his first read was there got it to him quickly and into the end zone absolutely excellent execution by all involved and the coordinator got him credit found the perfect play call quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game Send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Packers ready to take over offensively. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A nice run there by Jones on first down as they wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a second down throw for Love here. Quick slant to Watson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown, is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Here's third and a few inches. Love now. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I love the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that throw arrived? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 15. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for the crossing receiver. He's got him. It's Samuel. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. 
Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. McCaffrey on the counter, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Purdy looking to throw. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 29-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Here's Purdy on first and ten. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they will get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people. So from the 22, here's second and two. Here's Purdy. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Up the gut, McCaffrey breaks a tackle. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101. Check that box. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he returns this to the 22. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing. Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. First down, love to pass. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. And meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. And there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because <laughs> they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? My cop out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. McCaffrey running up the middle. 
And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Oh, look at the juke. And he will have a Niners first down. And that ought to be the one that seals the victory. It's a gain of eight there, and that should be enough to seal the victory. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.